नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द एट्थ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डीकेज हल फॉर प्रैक्टिकल बेनिफिट्स वी सजेस्ट वाचिंग द वीडियो टिल द एंड इन एन अर्लियर वीडियो दैट इज एपिसोड फाइव वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट सॉइल इज द प्लैनेट्स मोस्ट बायोलॉजिकली डाइवर्स इकोसिस्टम एंड देयरफॉर माइक्रोब्स हैव अ डायरेक्ट रोल इन ऑप्टिमाइजिंग सॉइल फर्टिलिटी एंड दैट द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ माइक्रोब्स हैज बीन सेवरली हिट by the injudicious use of fertilizers and pesticides biofertilizers are useful living microorganisms of bacterial fungal and algal origin microbes are cultured from nature processed scientifically mixed with some carrier material for ease of application and also packed to preserve it for some time those microbes multiply manifold when actually applied Biofertilizers, once applied, increase the population of beneficial microorganisms in the soil by introducing them in large numbers, just like the starter being used to convert milk into curd. Biofertilizers help in atmospheric nitrogen fixation or solubilizing phosphorus or mobilizing potash or some other nutrients and stimulate plant growth through the synthesis of growth-promoting substances. In extreme cases. where conventional input application is too high biofertilizers if applied properly can bring down the conventional input application by up to 50% biofertilizers are not yet able to replace the use of chemical fertilizers as they themselves do not contain any nutrient directly biofertilizers applied either with synthetic fertilizers or organic manures compost etc play an excellent supplementary role in maintaining soil fertility increase their nutrient use efficiency improve the immune system of crop plants thereby minimizing the impact of insect pests and diseases that is crops are healthy some other benefits of biofertilizers are decomposition of crop residues increased crop yield lower cost of cultivation and improvement in soil properties to have a fair idea about different types of biofertilizers we will discuss in detail about each biofertilizer one by one however it is relevant to mention some important tips which equally apply to all and need to be followed to ensure maximum benefits from biofertilizer application the quality of biofertilizers is decided on the basis of number of viable microbes present into it this is known as colony forming unit or cfu count per ml in case of liquid and per gram in case of powder or granule formulations the standard prescribed for liquid biofertilizers that is cfu count per ml is double when compared with per gram of powder or granules but practically a good quality liquid biofertilizers contain much higher cfu than powder or granule formulations and this is the reason that powder or granules need to be applied at a very high dose to get even similar results when compared with liquid biofertilizers normally 250 to 500 ml of good quality individual biofertilizer per acre or per application is optimum doses to be applied should never be more than that recommended on the product level microbes applied in the form of biofertilizers work in the soil in close association with the roots and in the active root zone of plants therefore earlier application is beneficial and should be preferred over delayed one proper application of biofertilizers play the most important role and this is one of the major reasons that due to fault in the application methods benefits of biofertilizers are yet to be realized therefore before we discuss individual biofertilizers we will try to understand the methods of application but it is important to note that biofertilizers should never be applied over the foliage thanks for watching like the video and subscribe to the channel share with friends and give feedback so that we can include new topics in future